<clears throat> that was stereo right now. I know, and we didn't even record it together. I know. Our talented editor, Nicole, managed to put the two sound bites together. I love it. Love it. All right. Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy National Coffee Day. <laughs> yes, it is National Coffee Day. That Although doesn't Dr. mean Laura, that you're allowed to slurp next to me. That's true. Do we just had Dr. Laura Saunders on uh, Great Day at 9A, and she said that you really should stop drinking coffee like about five hours before you go to bed because the caffeine lasts about that long. Yeah, I can't drink I only drink a cup in the morning. That's but what I, I can't do, too. I really don't drink coffee I after, I will after 2. After, well, but you go to bed so early. I go to bed at 7, so yeah, like so 2 o'clock is my cutoff. Yeah. I don't drink it in the afternoon or it affects my sleep. But you just, you don't put sugar in your coffee, right? No, just black coffee. Just uh, just black coffee? You don't mm. even do cream? No. Well, I do cream and sugar. But see, the coffee is what you need, not I, the rest. I know, but it, I like I don't really like the taste and of I, plain coffee. And you know what? Another thing you can do is what I do have in the afternoon, and Denise and I used to do this together, is have your green tea every day because that gives you the is kind of caffeine. Is there caffeine in there? Oh, a little there bit, but, right. but it won't keep you awake, but it does have L-theanine, which is good for anxiety, and it helps burn fat. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a lot of good things in green tea. Uh, then sign me up. If it's going to burn fat, maybe my head will fall is off. Is there a green tea day? Uh, you never know. Maybe there is. <laughs> hey, some sad news coming out of Hollywood. Coolio, the 90s rapper who lit up the music charts with hits like Gangsta's Paradise and Fantasy Voyage, he died. 59. Yeah. That's really young. Really young. So, uh, Fantastic Voyage reached number three on the Billboard Hot 100. He won a Grammy for Best Solo Rap Performance. Uh, for Gangsta's Paradise, that was the 1995 hit soundtrack from Michelle Pfeiffer's film *Dangerous Minds*. I didn't, I didn't, I forgot that that was in there. I love That's, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, me too. We'll *Get Married to the Mob* is one of my all-time favorite movies. Oh, okay. I just my all-time favorite comedy movie is *Married to the Mob*. And I love, I just love her. Uh, she's, I mean, there's no one else who could play Catwoman. Tony she looks like a cat. Tony, everything we own fell off a truck. It's the best movie ever with uh, Mercedes Rule and Matthew uh, brought Matthew Modine. Matthew oh my God, Modine. so awesome! Hey, Tom Hanks is writing a book. He's uh, done everything it, else. It, now he's writing a book. Fiction or nonfiction? A novel. Oh. But, but it but, sounds a lot like his yeah, life. It so does sound a little bit he like is his drawing life. a little inspiration, uh, I think, from his own life because it's the making of another major motion picture masterpiece. That's the name of it. It's centered on a colossal, star-studded, multi-million-dollar superhero <laughs> action film, and comic books are yeah. crucial to it. That sounds fake. Okay, <laughs> not. Uh, I, it's I just really look, his autobiography. I look at him now and I think of him as the colonel in Elvis, and I didn't even see the movie, but he just reminds me of. Well, he did a great job on a, that. I and you forget that he's Tom Hanks in you that movie. Forget that he's Tom Hanks. And he said it's a result of one smoking hot typewriter. So he's typing it. He's typing it. Now I, that I, I, that I don't is, think I could ever do because the idea of being able to copy and paste is crucial to any writing I do. I don't know how you do it on a typewriter. I don't know. Well, I don't know how either. My mother used to type all my papers. For oh, my dear, she was so good at it. Because my mom used to work for IBM. She'd be, yeah. like, be like, Mom, please, please, I'll, I'll do it in advance next time. I just really need you to type it. And really quick. And I would just be dictating. And she'd be like, It's fantastic. Our mothers have many talents. Ding. 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 It was great. Thanks, Mom. I still can't type. Thanks, Mom. I know I can't type either. Okay. But I can dictate really well, as you know, with my voice texting. Kara walks around the newsroom. I swear to God. Dennis, I need you to get me some coffee and uh, pick up the kids at 3 p.m. No, that's... And, uh, also, he's working at night. Okay, Dress for Success is coming up tonight. I have to remind myself to do everything good. I'm like, would you put the phone down? I, that's the that's Siri. She's my personal assistant. Because, hey, Siri, remind me to yell at Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and she does. Yeah. All you right. Know to, now, you know how to do that? No, I don't know how to do it. Oh, yeah, you put the... Yeah. the hey, the Siri, remind me every day to fix Scott's eyebrows. Is she, is she going to talk to you? I don't hear anything. It just put it on there. Fix guy's eyebrows. Oh, so it went right to the calendar. It says tomorrow and daily. All right, very good. All right, now don't worry. This house <laughs> won't put you a spell on you. But fans of the Hocus Pocus, I loved Hocus Pocus. I know. They can stay at the Sanderson Sisters Cottage this Halloween season, Kara. It's a creepy abode. Creepy. In the remote woods of Salem, Massachusetts. Woo! It's an Airbnb, and it was recreated in honor of Hocus Pocus 2, which does start streaming on Disney's Plus on Friday. You might want to uh, start getting Disney Plus so you can watch this. I didn't realize that. Uh, are they reprising the roles? Like, is Bette Midler coming back? Yeah, yeah. Cher? They're all coming back? Yeah, it's a big deal. Oh, my God, i got to watch this. 
Kathy Najami and Sarah Jessica Parker. So oh, you can okay. go on. This Maybe is only thirty-one dollars to stay there, but you have to go on Airbnb and see if you can. Oh, you got it's a contest. Yeah. Okay. Well, look at that. It looks beautiful. Unbelievable. I really have always wanted. I, they say fa Halloween weekend is not really the best weekend to go to Salem because it's so crowded. So crowded. But I really do want to go spend a weekend in Salem. There's some amazing things there. Yeah, you'd fit right in. <laughs> Why? Because the past life lady told us <laughs> I was a witch. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the Chicago History Museum is also getting spooky I'm just in time witch. for Halloween. You're a very good witch. <laughs> the new exhibit is titled Haunted Dolls and Histories oh, Horrors. I don't know. About no, this. God, I'm not going in here. This is crazy. You know, when I interviewed Lorraine Warren, God rest her soul. God rest her soul. In Monroe, we went to her a museum of a cult, and she's got the Annabelle doll in there. And I have I a creepy mean... doll on my desk. Yeah. Right, Caitlin? Uh -huh. Caitlin loves my doll that I have on my desk. Oh, no. But look at these dolls. They come alive at night and they'll kill your whole family. This Stop is terrible. <laughs> Museum it's visitors totally get a program be. list of the dolls and their stories, which all can be used to hold a scavenger hunt. Oh, great. Just what I want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't go at night. All right. A farmer in Bedford County, Pennsylvania, has gone viral for his quirky pumpkins. I'm so glad we're getting to this story because it's been in the rundown for three days. <laughs> It finally made it to air. We're okay. so happy. So he just decided to put the pumpkins in little molds, plastic molds. Oh, and they and, grew? Or and they grew this way. They grew that way. How it, look at it. Look at how clever that is. So it worked. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. So I guess, you know, you just put the little baby pumpkins in there, and then they grow. In right now, he's got Frankenstein, Dracula, and skeleton pumpkins, and he wants to create a lot more next season. Now, that I could get into better than carving. Look at that. I'm amazed by this. We need to get a mold of your head, and then we can make you into a pumpkin. Wouldn't that be awesome? We could do Kara and Scott pumpkin heads. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrific. Not a far stretch there. That, uh, yeah, that's